boxer's knuckle, you want a relaxed fist like that so that you can ask the patient to squeeze tight and relax. So it's a bit of a dynamic scan. So if we start on the MCP joint, you'll just see over the top of the tendon the thinnest little band going up and over and it's also slinging underneath. So it's keeping that tendon centrally placed. So if you rock onto one side of the camera, you'll sometimes get a better view of the bit coming off the side. So it wraps down the sides of the joint. And then if we rock onto the other side of the camera, you assess this part of the sagittal band as well. So they're very fine structures, but if they're damaged, they become very thick and very obvious to see. So basically once it splits, it can allow too much movement of that tendon and it can flick off the central position of the finger. So what you'll do is ask the patient while you're scanning to pull tight. So form a really tight fist for me slowly. And now you can see that sagittal band over the top, but the tendon stayed centrally placed. And then just slowly relax again. And then squeeze tight again. Really tight. That's the way. And then relax. Great. And just bear in mind if you're assessing the index finger, there's two tendons. So we've got two tendons to assess. So we'll keep a big pile of gel there, like a standoff. And as we go back up the hand, the dorsal hand, you can see two tendons. So there's one here and one here coming down. They both blend into that extensor hood. And the sagittal band is here underneath and also wrapping over the top of the tendon. So that's a boxer's knuckle assessment.